Hi everybody, I'm Jessica Yik, the Dancing Game on Lady, and welcome back to my channel. So today I just really wanted to do a bit of a weekly recap on what happened this week. So, oh my gosh, I am so thrilled and happy and thankful and grateful, which is probably almost the same thing. But um, I wanted to say thank you. I have ha surpassed 50 subscribers. <laughs> I'm so happy 50 subscribers on the YouTube channel. So thank you. It makes me so happy and, and it's actually really motivating and really inspiring simply because, I mean, I didn't think that the channel would grow so quickly. I mean, 50, if you compare it to like the big YouTubers out there, it's like super teeny tiny, but still for Jesse, that's just like, thank you, thank you, thank you. So another success story for this week is that Ginevra's potty training journey is moving along really well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I had the hardest time. I'm not I'm not going to go into details about it, but like it might it'll probably be TMI, like way too TMI some of the stuff we've been going through. But um yeah, it's been so great. I mean, she's gone 3 days straight now with dry diapers in the morning and she asked to go to the potty. Um, and so finally, I've been so stressed out because I mean, we're registering her for school in September and one of the requirements is that she has to be completely potty trained, right? Of course, I mean, I don't expect a kindergarten teacher to have to take my, change my four year old's diaper, but I was getting really stressed out simply because she, she, she was really resistant resistant to potty training um but yeah just all of a sudden one morning instead of asking her guy do you want to go potty i was like guy time to go potty so then she was like okay <laughs> i was like why didn't i do this six months ago yeah and since then it's been progressively getting better and better and better at first she would only pee um, in my washroom and now like when we're out she'll even tell me that she has to go which is so good so that's like one thing off of my list. Um, I have so much that I'm worried that I won't be able to get done before she gets off to school and I don't know if I'm just actually really over worrying about it or whatever but like I mean I read a list of the recommended things that children need to be able to do before going to school and that includes her for like recognizing her name which she kind of does doesn't and she's getting better at it though. Um, being able to recite her address, like my address is a really weird name, so I'm I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, and just a bunch of other things uh, that I'm just really scared that she won't know. So I don't know. I mean, I am I, I hopefully I'm just over overthinking it and just being over paranoid. But she gets lessons times from mommy now, and um, hopefully I'm teaching her the right way. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, potty training, yay! It's getting better, it's getting better. So I'm, I'm really, really excited about, well, not really. Oh, actually, yeah, no, I'm really excited about that. But it's really funny because at the studio, as soon as she's like, mommy! And it's like, she tells me that it's potty time, the world stops. And I run. And I tell her, like, girls, go do your splits! Or girls, go do this! And then I run, take her to the potty. Because like, potty time trumps everything right now. And that is mommy life. That is when you take your kid to work. All the time. Yes, but it's okay because soon one day she'll be tall enough to be able to reach the toilet by herself so I don't have to like pick her up because she's so tiny. Ginevra is so tiny. You don't understand how tiny my child is. She still fits into some 18 month old clothes. She's three, three and five months. So she's almost three and a half. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like I don't feed her. I do, but it's just she's super tight well like i mean granted i'm five foot and half of an inch and nelson says he's five three but not quite but anyway so he, she comes from a tiny family um so i'm not expecting her to be like a six foot tall person <laughs> and every time when she was younger and i would have her measured um, by the our pediatrician he was like well I mean, she's going on her curve, but like Ginevra, you know how there's a growth curve? So Ginevra had her own little lie <laughs> underneath the tiniest one. She had her, well, they had to draw her own little curve because she's super tiny. Um, and he's like, well, looks like she's not going to be the center of a basketball team. <laughs> so we always get a good laugh out of that because she's going to be a tiny child. My mother-in-law is petrified of her going to school because like she's worried that she's going to be bullied and things like that um i'm hoping that i can 
teach Ginevra just to be emotionally strong and I, I don't know, like how do you prep a child to be to against bullying? I was like I was I was bullied. Like I was have, like I said, heavily teased, but in fact, I was actually bullied a lot in school. It, it's just, I had a lot of things going on um, growing up, but um, I don't know how you would prep a child for that. I probably should do some reading. Yeah, I probably should do some reading. So if you have any good resources, let me know. So much to think about when you're a parent. There's so much things to worry about. Sometimes I just want to be like, oh, la, 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 take it one day at a time, not stress out. And that's when I'm like, calm. But then I start thinking and thinking. I guess I overthink and then stress, my dancers call it stressy Jesse. Stressy Jesse starts emerging out. And that's when I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. But that's okay. It'll be okay, right? Just tell me it's okay. It'll be okay. Yes. Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble on as always. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.